Welcome back to your mat. Let's start today. You're going to need um, a block or something you can fold up, right, to put in between your upper and inner thighs. And also you may need some blankets or, um, you know, something to sit on, depending on your opening. So let's start in a Sukhasana, right leg in front, left leg behind. Rock your seat evenly out from underneath you. Rest your palms facing downward, downwards on your thighs. Let's do a shoulder roll up and back. We're going to get to know our feet and our lower body today. A little bit more controlled movements. So sit up tall here. Find that imaginary wall behind you that's supporting you. Spread your shoulder blades across your mat. Draw your chin in. Find your posture. We've been doing this together for a while. So find the length in your spine. Soften your hips. Close your eyes. Feel the crown of your head drawing upwards without that chin moving. Scoop the front ribs if they're splaying out. Scoop them in. Just a little bit. Find that balance in movement and activation. Soften your shoulder blades down a little bit. If there's tension in your neck and your throat, let that go. Check in with your breathing. Check in with the feeling and the sensations that arise as you breathe. And connect with the sensation of being grounded. What does that mean to you? Feel your lower body from your hips down to your toes. Grounding into the earth, so just releasing so it gets heavy. And then if you can visualize or imagine roots, feel from the pelvic floor downwards into the earth to see roots shooting down. And connect to the earth. Be aware of your body, your physical presence. Check in with your body. What does it feel like today in this moment? Check in with your current state of mind. And come back to the awareness of your breathing. So simply focusing on your breath flowing either in and out through your nostrils, feeling how the breath moves in the body. Find the inner quiet just by focusing on your breathing. Drop your gaze into the space between your eyes. Start to dive into your heart center. And open yourself to an intention for your practice today. Once you've found your intention, gently blink your eyes open. And take your time in releasing your legs out. Shake them out. Let's crisscross the other way. What did I have in front? Left in front, right behind. Even out your sitting bones. Let's rest the palms facing down so on the shoulder, um, on the thighs. Let's do a shoulder roll. Shoulders up and back. Just words are just kind of going over each other right now. And up and back. And up and back. Just get all those little kinks out. 
up and back, and then go the other way, shoulders forward, spread the shoulder blades out. Breathe, have the breath flowing. Let's go up and back again. Good, and then chill. tilt the chin up to the sky. Chin up to the sky. Just kind of jutting your chin up, feeling all of these tissues spreading out. Let's tilt the chin over to the right, and then do a little pout with your lips to the right. So the left side of your jaw is here, it gets a stretch. And then back to center, do a little pout up to the sky. So top lip over, bottom lip over the top lip to really spread all of this out. And then a little pout over to the left, turn your chin to the left. I feel this right side of the jaw getting a stretch. And back to center. Let's bring the chin in, chin towards the collarbones. Lift the collarbones to the chin, fingers on the back of the head, just a little gentle pressing away of the back of the neck there. Spread the shoulder blades out. Breathe. Release your fingertips, bring your head back to center. Let's crisscross the right arm in front of our body, left arm above the elbow there, just hugging the arm into the chest. Drop this shoulder down if it's up here. Lift your torso, wiggle yourself tall. Let's turn to the left. Ground that right hip, pull your chin in, turn your gaze over the right shoulder. Just spin it around as much as you can. Spin your torso to the left as much as you can and your head to the right as much as you can. Hug that arm in tightly. And bring it back to center, let's crisscross the other way. Left arm across the front of the body, right arm above that elbow. Sit tall, start to turn to the right. Shoulder is down here. Chin in, gaze to the right, uh, to the left. Turn the torso to the right. Make sure your left hip is grounded so it's not spinning with you. Hug that arm in tightly. Bring it back to center, release your hands, interlace your hands behind your back, palms together, open the heart. Breathe. Let's take the chin up again, shoulder blades down the back. And release, let's take a shoulder roll, up and back again, up and back maybe. It's a little more fluid, maybe a little less crunchy, up and back. So let's release the legs out in front. We're going to take our staff pose, which is just sitting with the legs out in front, Dandasana. You may need to sit on blankets here if you're tight, right? If you're rounded, sit on a bunch of blankets, put some blankets underneath your knees. We're just sitting this way to use our feet, right? So even out your sitting bones, you're going to spread your toes really wide, fan your toes out. So you're creating these high heel arches, and we're just going to point through the tops of the feet. So we're really getting to know our feet today in our practice. Spread your toes. You're just fanning your toes out and pointing. It's just at the ball mounds of the foot, right? Not the whole foot yet. So spread the toes, point and flex. Try to fan out just across the entirety of your toes. The pinky toe pulls wide as well. The big toe, right? Get into those bunions. Spread that big toe. Point and spread the toes. Hopefully you don't have bunions, but if you do, <laughs> and point. Hold yourself up here to make sure you're tall and spread the toes. Good, and now we'll roll through the whole foot. So point and press the heels forward, pull the toes all the way back. Can you move through the foot without having that ankle flop all over the place? Can you find a little bit of more, more neutral movement? Roll through and breathe. As you do this, right, if you can think about this while you're moving your feet, can you feel, can you find, so the heels, right, pushing forward, the outer part of the foot, and then across the ball mounds of the foot as you move forward. Just a little bit more pressure on that pinky toe side of the foot, basically. And bring the toes all the way back. So heels forward. Try not to pop your heels up off the mat there. So keep your heels on the mat. Swing, uh, where are we going? Swing your feet to the right. Big, wide circles. Again, trying to keep the legs from doing this, right? We want to keep the legs from moving so we can get more in the ankle joint and the feet. 
swing it around. Check that you're holding yourself tall here and then go the other way, big wide circles. Feel your feet, spread your toes, wiggle them out. Get to know your feet. And one more, good, and shake it out. So we're gonna make our way to the top of the mat. Oh no, plank pose. I almost forgot. Let's come to the, let's come to our hands and knees and we're gonna take our two minute plank. So come on to either full plank, half plank, press it up, whatever you're in the mood for today. <laughs> let's get all 10 toes underneath us. That's the one thing I haven't done yet. Let's hope I don't forget to do a plank pose. Or actually, you might be hoping that I do forget to do a plank pose one day. But you're in it now, so be committed to it. Let's get all of those fingers spread wide, all of those toes underneath us. Speaking of feet, right? Get those toes spread wide. Push down into the ball mounds of your feet. Shoulders are right over the wrist. Push those heels back. So see if you can get a little bit more lift right? Use the quads, use the um, the glutes, your butt muscle, quads to the top thighs. And of course, always checking in with your belly, strong center. There's a lift in your pelvis here, so it's not collapsing down like this. Open your heart, draw those palms back. So squeeze into your armpits, draw your elbows back, hug them in towards your body. Use your breath. Breath is flowing in and out through the nostrils. It's like, how the heck did we go from doing Pavanmuktasana, which was just that stuff we were doing with our feet, to doing this? <laughs> Talk about opposite ends of the spectrum. So there's balance in there. Use your breath. Breath in through the nostrils, out through the nostrils. We're over halfway through. You're doing great. If you need to, take a child's pose. Take a down dog. Take a mini break or a longer break. And then if you feel ready to come back, otherwise just meet us in down dog when we're done. It's not that big a deal. Even breath, <laughs> I say, as I've been doing this forever. So we're almost there. Where are we? Now we have a few more deep breaths. Be present, be steady, pull your palms back, open your heart, feel your body. One more deep inhale and exhale. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Nice work. So let's take a little pedal of the dog out. Let your head get heavy, hug those elbows back. Really feel your feet as you're moving, spread those toes. Same movement, except now we're on our feet, right? That we just did in our Dandasana. Look at your ankles, are they wobbling all over the place? Can you get a little more steady in that movement? Push your hips to the back of the mat. Let your head get heavy. Keep your center supporting you. Let's take a small walk to the top of the mat. So little tiny steps and then bend your knees when you have to, right? Let's see if you can get there with as straight a leg as possible. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. Ground and rise to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Namaste, Tihi. So grab your block or whatever it is you're going to use to place in between your upper inner thighs. And it's just, just that upper inner thighs, right? We're going to squeeze that block or support, hands to the waist. And we're going to do that same action, but just standing with our feet, right? So we're going to roll through, press into the ball ends of the feet, squeeze that block and lift up and roll back down and lift up. Just little heel lifts. Squeeze the inner thighs. Use those calf muscles and back down. And notice the difference when you really hug into that block. Everything's coming into the center. Think about lifting your heels and pushing the ball mounds of your feet down. Lift up. Such a small movement. But my God, does it work? <laughs> and, down. and spread the toes. Push down. Lift the heels up. Belly strong here. Heart is lifted. You are breathing, push down into those toes and down. Squeeze your block, your support. Push that big toe down if it starts to pop up and down. And a few more like this. Active throughout the entire legs, get into the glutes, lift and down. Last one and lift. 
and down. Let's release the block. Hands stay on the waist here. We're gonna shift our weight to the left leg and you're just gonna float the right leg up. So right leg up, hold and breathe. Find your balance. Gaze is committed to one spot. Push down into the earth with this left leg. And we're gonna extend that knee. So leg straight out in front and then bend. And now press your heel like you're pushing into a wall. So foot is flexed and bend, extend and flex. So ground through that standing leg. Breath is steady again. Make sure it's flowing. Just a few more like this. Push through that heel. Three more. Last one. And release that leg down. Woo, that's work. Again, small movements sometimes. They can be interesting. Let's shift our weight to the right leg. Ground through that right foot. Find your balance. Float the left leg up. We get to do it on the other side. And we're going to press that leg forward and bend. Start to push through the heel. And forward. Squeeze that thigh. Push the big toe down or your standing, standing foot here. And we have that block in between our legs. Obviously, we can't do that right now. But imagine that it's still there. So you have that hugging into the center, right, with your upper inner thighs. Just a few more. Move with awareness. Last one. And release. Shake it out. Whew. <laughs> Let's take that. Shift the weight to the right leg. Bend the right knee in front of you. And we're going to step that foot squared off hip, slow motion to the back of the mat. See if you can reach back, find the ball mounds of your foot, keep your hands on your waist here. So if you're tight, you're going to have a bent knee already in the back. If you have a little bit more space, go for the straighter leg, drop down into your crescent pose with your hands on your waist. And we're going to drop the knee down to the mat without it touching the mat, squeeze the inner thighs in. And then just that back leg is going to straighten as much as it can. It may not go super duper straight. Just make the effort. Squeeze the glutes in towards each other. Right, uh, right knee bends down, down towards the mat. Try to lift your torso straight. And then we kind of straighten that leg out. And bring the knee down. Breathe. And straighten it out. And down. Squeeze the back of that leg. Get into that glute. The hamstrings, the back of the right leg. Obviously, that left leg, leg is working as well in that lunge. And straighten it out. A few more like this. Last one. Good. You're going to bring it all the way down to the mat. Come back onto your hands and knees into that tabletop position. I'm going to shoot the right foot to the top of the mat. So this is where your block may come in handy again or a stack of supports if you can't straighten your leg with your hands on the mat. So let's spread the toes and drop over that right leg. Ardha Hanumanasana, half split pose. Let yourself drop. Get that stretch. Draw the hip back on the right side. Spread the toes. If the back of the knee doesn't like this, we bend a little bit. It's your body. Get to know it. Understand it. Listen to the signals. Even breaths here. And let's step forward into a lunge. Push off, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, half fold, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, full fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. We shift our weight to the right leg, hands to the waist. Bend that left knee out in front of you. Squared off hip. Gaze is steady. Find your balance. Really ground through that standing leg. Shoot it to the back of the mat. Come into your crescent pose. Bend that front knee. Maybe get a straight leg. If you're pitching forward here, bend a little deeper. You know we're going to go deeper anyway into that bend. And we're going to bring the knee down. 
as close down as you can get it, and then straighten it out deep in the lunge. So only as far as you can straighten out that leg, obviously, um, without straightening out the front leg. So it may be a smaller movement. Breathe. Check that your center is connected, right? You've got support there. Spine is tall. Thighs are hugging in. Glutes are hugging in. Straighten it out. Back knee comes down. Straighten it out. Breathe. Three more. Bring it down. Take yourself back to your hands and knees and shoot that left foot to the top of the mat. So get into the back of that leg. Spread your toes. Let yourself drop over this left leg. Take a few more deep breaths here. Get active through this left leg. Quads are lifting up the kneecap, pushing into your heels, spreading your toes. One more breath. Let's come back into the lunge, push off, step to the top of the mat, inhale, half full, exhale, full fold, inhale, arms out and up to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Samastiti, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, lead with your heart. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, step it back once again, back to the knees. Coming into our tabletop, right foot to the top of the mat. Walk your left knee back. Again, this is where some ports, supports can come in handy. Place them underneath you. If you need to, under that left palm, we're going to twist and turn into the right thigh and take a hold of your foot. You may need a strap too. I forgot about that. So if you need to, grab a strap, pause, wrap it around your foot, and start to draw back here. Push that left knee away from you. Draw the left, pel uh, left thigh forward here, left pelvis forward, and rise those right ribs back. Spin around. One more breath. Gently release your foot and let's switch. Right leg goes back, left leg goes forward. Walk your knee back a little bit, rock on top of that kneecap, bend the knee. Right hand, plant, right hand plants and reach around, take a hold of your foot. So we're twisting, right? So it's opposite hand to opposite foot, left hand to right foot. Push that back knee away, rise up. Right pelvis, right quads drawing forward as the right knee pushes away from you. Breathe into the twist. Find softening on the exhale, maybe a little bit more spin. And gently release. Let's swing it around, make your way onto your back. Take the right knee on top of the left knee, knee over knee. We're gonna draw the knees in towards the chest. So even out your back a little bit. This is where a strap may come in handy as well if you can't do this without your head and neck coming off of the mat, right? So pull and resist. And how do we resist? We drop our hips down a little bit. You know this. <laughs> if you've been here for the long journey, you know this. So press the hips away. And if you're new here, welcome. So make sure that your sitting bones are even, right? We're not tilting the pelvis to the left or the right, pressing away. So there's a little lumbar lift, your low back curve basically, and draw those knees in against that resistance. Feel that right hip getting a nice opening. Breath is steady. You can actually start to elongate your exhale. 
So taking a deeper exhale, you start to calm the nervous system a little bit. Let's release the hands from the legs and go to the right in a twist here. Drop those knees as far as you can get to the right. Scoop your right shoulder blade out, gaze to the left. Soften that left hip down a little bit. Take a deep breath along your spine, into your side body, into the back body. Bring it back to center, crisscross the other way, left on top of right, knees into the chest, even up the back, and same action. Draw those knees in, drop the sitting bones away a little bit. So you don't want to create a curve that's bigger than what your normal curve is. You don't want to drop them so far away that our back is sticking up. Just a little space underneath, a little tunnel underneath your mid back, lower back. Breathe. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Feel the body winding down. Release your hands, twist to the left. Scoop that left shoulder blade out, gaze to the right. Right hip drops a little bit, so we have a nice long waist. And back to center. Shavasana. Release yourself into your final resting pose here. So you can put blankets under the knees or the back of the head if you need them. Let your body go. Close your eyes. If you're still engaging, a deeper breath, let that go. So no controlled breathing here. We are surrendering entirely let your body go just do a check-in and see if there's anywhere that you're holding on to tension or activation soften into those spaces start to gaze into the space between your eyes and just rest your attention here be open, be curious. And just be for another few moments. Bring your awareness back to the breath, flowing in and out through your nose. Begin to reawaken the body, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, feel your feet as you move your toes. Are you a little more familiar with them now? Let's stretch it out, arms up over the head. Deep stretch, fingertips to toes, hug the knees into the chest. Rock yourself gently back and forth. And make your way to your side into fetus position. Just rest on your side for a moment here. Keeping the eyes closed, let's press up to seated. Sit nice and tall. Palms together in prayer in front of your heart. Thumbs into the sternum. Connect at your heart center. Draw your chin in. And bow your head forward and take a moment and bow down to the earth, to Mother Earth. To providing you a home with which you can have this experience that we call life. Honor her. And remember to take time to experience her as well. So let's bow down to our heart. Deep connection to heart center. Bow down to your light. 
honor that space within all beings and from deep within your heart. So let's send a collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And now take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. See what today's angels have to say. Hello. Number one. Sisterhood, brotherhood, go be with your community. Number two. Birth and create something together. Do my little reading. Freedom and express yourself freely. <laughs> have an amazing day. I'll see you on your mat tomorrow. Bye.